Hi friends, this is a student guide for Smart Music account setup. It's pretty quick and easy, just follow the prompts. First, you're gonna go to smartmusic.com slash login. Select the box for new Smart Music. This will bring you to this screen. You're going to be tempted to want to create account. Don't do it. I want you to click join a class next to where it says I'm a student. Your teacher's already done half the work for you. When you do that, you're going to type in your email address, the class code that your teacher has already emailed you, and then select join class. A couple of things. The class code is something your teacher has emailed you, so don't try to just Google that or figure that out. Check to make sure that your teacher's name is displayed. If that's not your teacher's name right there, then it's probably not the right class code, or you made some other error. And another note, you may need to use a personal email address. In our school district, our students are not allowed to receive emails from outside sources. So if anyone, say Smart Music, were to email an activation code to you, you wouldn't receive it. If your district is like that, make sure that you use a personal email address for this step. Fill out the information on the next page and then you'll click submit or whatever it says at the bottom. Um, the note about being 13 years old. If you're under 13, I recommend that you, you, you sign up with a parent and utilize this software, this, this software with a parent. I have fifth graders that are using this with a family member so that they can feel comfortable saying, yes, they're 13 years old. Um, right now we are experiencing some special times in our country and we need to be able to utilize this resource. So please feel free to um, use this software as if you are doing it with a family member and feel comfortable saying that yes, you are 13. Um, once you submit, you'll receive an activation email. Let's go check for that. So the image on the left will be the email that you should receive and it should be pretty quick. Click confirm your email address and then that will bring you to the image on the right. In this case, you're going to enter your username and email, the password that you supplied, and click log in. That should get you started. So there's a couple of quick things that I'd like to share with you first. This is your home screen or your dashboard, whatever you'd like to call it. You can always ask, access this screen by clicking on the little home button on the top left of the screen. Um, any assignments that your teacher provides you or grades will be listed here. And let's just, to get started and practice a little bit, I recommend that you start with either your method book or a method book that you've used in the past, or choose one if you don't use one. So to find the method books, you're going to click on the great big blue button that says method books. That will bring you to this screen. And all I say is make sure that the little orange box is clicked for method books and then type in the method book that you are using. My students are using measures of success. So I typed in measures of success and then you'll click on the book on the title. When you do that, you'll get the overview of the book. And I want you to select open. Click your instrument from the drop down box if it's not already done for you and then choose an exercise that you would like to work on. Here's what will come up when you choose your exercise. I just want to share a couple of quick notes with you about the uh, how to manipulate the platform. So in the green box, there's a play button, the little green triangle. That button will play a variety of sounds from accompaniment, your part and metronome. Just press play and you'll notice the little blue bar will travel as the notes go by. In the green box also, you see the little red circle. That's a record button. When you press record, it will play the track for you. And as you play, it will tell you if the notes are right or wrong. If they light up green, it means you played it right. If they're red, it means you played them wrong. And I think they even have some other options too. Um, if you'd like to try uh, working on a secondary instrument that you have supplied, if you click the job drop down box next to your instrument, that will be listed there. And then if you want to just change exercises, you can either click the drop down box next to the name, mine says 4.22 banana boat, 
If I click the drop down box, I can select any exercise. If I'd prefer to just do the next exercise, I can press the forward arrow there. In the blue boxes, you see accompaniment, my part, and metronome. These are, are, are all how loud and if they are played. If you notice, my part has a little X next to the speaker. If I click on the speaker, it will then play my part again. I think the default with smart music is to have my part not played. But if you choose to shut one of them off, maybe you want to turn the accompaniment off and only hear your part, all you have to do is click the speaker and if it's on, it will look like the accompaniment speaker does right now. If it's off, it will look like my part does. And if you'll notice, I have the metronome, the little circle is not all the way up. I turned my metronome down just a little bit. The last thing I want to show you is the red box to the left underneath accompaniment. It says 115. That's the beats per minute. So if I want the recordings to go faster or slower, I can adjust with the plus or minus sign. Or I think you can just select 115 and type in a different number. Um, I encourage you to take this seriously and to use this resource to the best of your ability. Smart Music is an incredible option for you, um, especially right now when you may be distance learning. Uh, if you have any questions, I encourage you, please reach out to your teacher and do your best to create a positive experience out of this interesting time we live in right now. Best of luck to you and happy practicing.